you know, it's different. You know, clearly it'd be different. You know, just being the head guy in charge and uh, you know making sure a lot of the stuff that's behind the scenes goes well and, and making sure everything's kind of in place from that standpoint. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, I enjoy coaching, so I'm you know, I'm, I'm excited to be able uh, to be out here and help these kids. You know kind of learn football um, and, and kind of help them grow as a player, not only on the field, but off the field and uh, just kind of in life in general. So uh, it's, it's, been, it's, been, it's been fun, man. This whole summer uh, leading up to this point has been, been fun. When you were in the NFL, did you always think you may come back and be a high school coach <clears throat> or did it kind of just uh, evolve this way to, be, to coming back to Kirkwood? Uh, you know, I, it's always, always, you know, something I always kind of thought about. Um, now, the likelihood of that happening, you know, I didn't really, you know, know at that particular time, but uh, you know, I've always been told I'd be a good coach, um, you know, kind of at whatever level. And um, I felt like, you know, this was kind of the perfect opportunity. Uh, just kind of when I came back here three years ago, um, just kind of, you know, how at home I felt. Um, and then kind of when Farrell retired, um, it was kind of like, why not? You know, um, you know, I, I feel like I can bring a lot to the table. Um, I feel like uh, I, can, I can establish a relationship with these kids and help these kids, you know, achieve some of the things that they want to achieve. Tell us about your team. You know, how are the numbers, returning starters, and all that? Is it young? Is it veteran? A little bit of both. Uh, a little bit of both, man. A little bit of both. You know, I think, uh, you know, I think we're going to be really, really solid up front. Uh, I think um, we got a lot of guys that, that that we can put out there and be comfortable with up front, and I think that's always a good thing when that could be the strength of your football team. Um, I think we got a lot of the young guys uh, at the skill position that are going to make some uh, some big splashes this year. A couple of running backs that are going to be really good for us. Uh, Cam Paul, our, our our senior tight end, is going to be really good for us. Got some national attention and stuff like that. So. Um, I, I think we're going to be solid, man. I think we'll be solid. Do you ever find yourself saying something like, oh, that's something Gary Pinkle said. That's something Andy Reid said. Do, do you take yeah, a man. lot of different things from all the coaches over the years? I've been, I've been so blessed and so fortunate to, uh, to have had the, 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 the leaders and, and the coaches I've had to be able to kind of, you know, you know, pick kind of from things that they've done and they did. And, um, and, and it just doesn't stop there. You know, um, even Furl, uh, just kind of seeing kind of how he did things out here. Um, a bunch of assistant coaches, David Culley, who's now down with the Houston Texans. Uh, he's my receiver coach for six years. Um, Deuce Staley, a, a bunch of guys I can still call on to this day uh, to be able to kind of lean on and ask for advice and ask for, uh, you know, certain type of, uh, you know, philosophies, whatever the case may be. So I've, I've been really blessed in that aspect. And we got family on me, family on three. One, two, three, family. Right after the comes.